new product development in Arup is, is like the stadium seat project where you have a manufacturer who has a need and he has a brief and, and they come to you and you, you work together to try and create concepts and develop that brief and, and take it to the marketplace with them. When you're putting in 70,000 seats into a stadium, as, a, as an example, if you can save five pounds a seat place on the actual product installed, then you're saving big bucks. I've developed stadium seats in the past, so I knew roughly what I wanted to get out of the brief. So I put together a two-page brief um, for Becca and, and for her team with a view to looking at how we could put a concept around that brief. The scary thing is, as you go and look at the marketplace and you go, well, it's been done. Um, and you kind of go, oh, how am I going to you know, create something valuable for the client and differentiate it and increase the functionality of it? You kind of get a bit nervous at that, that stage and hope that you can pull in enough brains from a, around your team to you know, come up with that eureka moment. The eureka moment um, was when we, we saw how we could better uh, support the seat on the beam. So the beam becomes an integral part of the seat's functionality. Um, so in our case, the beam has become the pivot for the gravity tip seat, as well as the structure on which you're mounting the seat. So we've knuckled the whole seat assembly down to just three main components. We've got a seat back, a seat base, and then the clips that clip it onto the beam, so we can have fewer parts. The first match is never delayed. And so what happens is the whole project concertinas into the last few weeks. And if you can get those stadium seats, which are always the last thing to go in, if you can get them in fast, then you save yourself an awful lot of grief and an awful lot of financial risk. Fewer parts obviously means quicker installation time. It means that you've got less pre-assembly costs. Um, and it means that you've got more of the seat footprint available to use for actually sitting on. We have a slight taper to the front of the seat, which means that you can actually fit more seats on a corner. So we've worked out that kind of on a typical kind of 50,000 seat stadium, you might get another 315 seats. And that doesn't impact in, your, in the ergonomics of the seat, but it does give you that increased capacity, which of course, when you've got 25 um, events a year at 50 quid, then you, know, you, get, you get your benefits. And one of the other things about the spacing is of course that when you get to the executives, it's the same beam, it's the same chair, but they're just spaced out a little more and the arms fit into the gap. And we have nice big luxury seats for nice big luxury people. We've got a, a recycled content seat that is, it, again, recyclable. You want it to look good. You want it to be strong. We've got a seat that has fewer components, so it means the installation time is faster. We want something that's plastic because it's more user-friendly, it can be styled in much more radical and different ways. We've got a seat that you can fit more into a stadium on, on the corner sections and therefore you're increasing your capacity of the seat, which obviously then in turn increases revenue for the client. Most of all, we're looking for something that looks really nice because we want it to appeal to people before they start looking at things like cost.